thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Caitlin, if you're new here, and I make videos about minimalism and motherhood and overall just trying to create a more peaceful home. I'm just going to jump right into it today. My kids and husband are away at basketball practice, so I have a little bit of time. So I'm going to be talking about simplifying your laundry routine and reducing the overwhelm and stress that comes with it. Um, first things first, and I think the thing that has made the biggest impact for us is using our washer as our hamper. Um, so instead of everybody having their own hamper or a hamper in each room or, you know, even just multiple hampers, we don't, we don't do that. Um, you know, eventually they would end up stinking and get over, you know, overflip, overflowed, overfilled. Um, within using the washer for our hamper, we just, all of our clothes end up in there with the exception of my husband's work clothes. Um, and then I can see how much laundry is in there. So I know when I have to do a load of laundry. And I've talked about this before, um, using vinegar and essential oils for, um, for, for our clothes with the exception of some of my husband's work things. <laughs> um, so I think how that would like qualify as like simplifying is I don't have to constantly analyze what kind of soap I need to get or what scent I need to get. Um, I just have my jug of vinegar. Actually, it's in a liquid dispenser above my washer. So I just put the vinegar in the cup and then I have a little, um, like an assortment of essential oils and I just shake it in there until I feel it is enough. <laughs> um, right now I'm using lavender and cedar wood. I'm not even sure if you can smell the cedar wood, but I just put it in there because um, I don't use any like citrusy things um, because I do have dogs and a lot of essential oils are actually toxic to animals and I didn't consider that when buying it. And then the third thing is we don't fold most of our laundry. We don't fold 95% of our laundry. And the only thing we do fold are my son's or my youngest son's clothes because of his like organization system. Um, it, it wouldn't really work that well to just throw it in there. But if he had a dresser, you bet they'd be chucked in there. Um, we don't fold my clothes. We don't fold my husband's clothes, my either my kids, either my older kids clothes. Um, we don't fold bathroom towels. Those once they're dry, they just get hung up on the um, like the hooks behind the door. We don't fold kitchen towels. They are just thrown in a basket underneath the sink. Um, no, we don't really fold them. I don't know. I guess if you want to fold your clothes, you can, but like no one is going to really notice. You know what I mean? Like if you're like out and about, no one's gonna be like, oh my God, like that family, you can totally tell that they don't fold their clothes. Like I don't need to waste my time folding my, like my bras and shirts and you know, whatever, whatever. My time could totally be used better somewhere else. And then another perk of the no folding, um, it makes it a lot easier for my kids to assist. We just bring out the basket of clean clothes. Hey guys, like hurry and like pull your stuff out of here and put it where it belongs. I do like socks together and they can just cram one sock into the other. You know, I don't care. It's not, it's not going to affect the, the overall of their clothes. And I'm sure you would have guessed that I would suggest reducing the inventory. If you have 15 shirts, then you're going to have 15 shirts to wash, dry, fold, put away. Um, really, the less inventory you have, this is not just applying to clothes, the less inventory you have, the more responsibility. And I don't have the bandwidth to to manage all that. So when the kids are grabbing their clothes, they don't have 80 items to, you know, to manage. It's a lot easier for them to help. Um, they have two drawers. Their top one is socks, underwear, and jammies, and there's a divider between those. And then the bottom drawer is tops and bottoms, and they have a divider there. Does everything get where it belongs? 
nope but it's better than if i had to do it you know what i mean every once in a while i'll go through their drawers if i'm feeling skippy and you know put things where they belong but other than that i don't really care and then the last thing is if it doesn't stink or have crud on it then it's clean to me um with exceptions i mean obviously like socks and underwear those do not get reused and the baby is you know messier and usually has some food on him um so his stuff gets washed as you know his stuff gets washed a little more like jammies jammies i mean for the kids and for me like can be worn for like three or four days you know, like i said with the exception if they are cruddy and then obviously dirty <laughs> then they will be washed but just if you have something on for a few hours that doesn't deem it totally dirty we we hardly wash our jeans that's like an every once in a while thing um it's actually better to not wash your things as much and also not drying them um in the dryer it actually prolongs the life of the clothes so yeah using the washer as the hamper using vinegar and essential oils for your solution um no folding reducing inventory and then the smell check so if you use those five steps i'm sure your laundry routine will be much simpler than it was before and that's the goal right well thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video hopefully you can take some bits of this and incorporate it in your life and hopefully it gives you some peace so peace see ya